Hi, Dr. Kara here with PrEP. So we're wrapping up our three-part series on keys to successful relationships. Key one was do your part. Last week, we talked about deciding, not sliding. And we wrap it up today with key number three, which is make it safe to connect. So when I say safety, you probably jump to the first form of safety we're gonna cover, which is physical safety, what we call bottom line safety. That's freedom from violence, threats, harm, intimidation, all those things in the relationship. We have to feel safe physically from harm before we can get into higher levels of relationship functioning. Another form of safety is emotional safety, and not as many people think of that, but we want to freely kind of be accepted for who we are, to be able to share our feelings, our hopes, our fears, our dreams, and not have those things be used against us or be teased or uh, ridiculed for some of the things that we share from the deep parts of ourselves with our partner. And that comes from a really firm foundation in friendship and being able to trust that person with your heart. The third one is commitment safety, which probably nobody thinks of right off the bat, but commitment safety is really important too. Because in a long-term relationship, you wanna just know that you and this person are in it for the long haul. So if you've exchanged vows at a wedding, then that was part of the deal is, hey, we're, we're in this for the long haul together, uh, richer or poorer, better or worse, all that stuff. And whatever your kind of relationship status is, if you are in a long-term committed relationship, you want that commitment safety. Because what happens is sometimes when we're angry, people threaten to break up, they threaten divorce, they threaten all these things that immediately jeopardize the relationship. And we stop working through the issue at hand and start wondering if the whole relationship is in question. And that threatens our commitment safety. So we need to know that issues can come up, things can be difficult, we can get upset with each other, conflicts can happen, but we can do that within a context of feeling safe, that, hey, we have a long-term orientation here, we both wanna make this work long-term and focus on the problem, not taking the relationship down with it. So in a long-term relationship, commitment safety is critical too. So making it safe to connect, be mindful of all three, physical, emotional, and commitment. So that wraps up our keys here. We are going to check out the comments. If you guys will leave us some ideas for what do you want to see in future relationship videos, we will get to work on them. Thanks.